What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we'll review one of my favorite custom rom which is called as dot os and recently they have released the new build of dot os which is version 5.1 and the latest build have the feature of wallpaper based theming system which is inspired by android 12. I've used this dot os as my primary os on my oneplus 60 and you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a installation guide on this or not. And I believe a perfect custom ROM is the one which have good battery backup, few customizations and good performance. Though to check out the performance part, I have made a dedicated gaming test video on this custom ROM. Link of that video can be found in the description below. And the gaming test is done in 40 fps and 60 fps. So make sure to check out that video. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 60 on which I have installed this custom OS. First let me show you the software information. Go into about section. Here you can see .OS version is 5.1 and the package which I have installed comes with pre-installed Google Apps. Talking about the Android version, Android version is Android 11 which comes with the 5th May 2021 security patch. And the kernel on this OS is Illusion kernel. And as I said, this custom OS have a new feature of wallpaper based theming which is inspired by Android 12. That means if you change the wallpaper on your device, the theme of your device will automatically change. And let me switch to a different wallpaper. With this live wallpaper, this is how the quick setting panel looks. And if I change the wallpaper, beneath the wallpaper you can see system accent set to approximate. Tapping on apply. And once the wallpaper is applied, now the entire theme of the device would have changed. So let's go to the home page. So here you can see this is the wallpaper. And let me show you the quick setting panel where you can see color of the quick setting panel have also been changed. You can see we have a mixture of greenish color and bluish and the same color have been adopted by the device. And this is one of my favorite feature on .OS 5.1. So this is going to be the first look of quick setting panel of .OS 5.1 and here you will see that thick brightness slider. What we get to see on Android 12. There are lots of UI changes done on .OS 5.1. In the quick settings panel you can see we have few larger options to edit the quick setting tiles and directly moving on to the settings. And on the top you can see we have a thick bar which consists of your battery percentage, Wi-Fi signal and the status of your device. We get to see a lot of quick setting tiles which includes high brightness mode, ambient display, DC dimming feature which is currently missing on OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9 series. Then we also have this FPS overlay so which can help you monitor frames per second of specific applications and gaming too. All the basic stuff like calling which includes Wi-Fi calling feature, alert slider along with all the sensors are working fine which includes accelerometer, light, proximity sensor, magnometer, compass and gyroscope though you'll get to know the gyroscope performance in the gaming test video because I normally do gaming with gyroscope always turned on and on .OS 5.1 you get to see this Google camera pre-installed so you don't have to download any additional Google camera applications and the version of Google camera is version 7.3 and trust me guys with this particular version of Google camera, I'm really impressed with the picture quality of OnePlus 60. Here are few photos which I click with this Google camera application. In normal lighting condition, photos are much sharper if we compare with the Oxygen OS. And we get to see amazing colors with lots of details. Also I tried out few photos in the nightscape mode using this Google camera and results were seriously amazing. You guys let me know in the comment section below. How is the picture quality of these photos clicked with Google camera? And does stock camera take such awesome pictures on your OnePlus 60? That also let me know in the comment section below. And if we talk about the settings panel, this is how it looks. And have different sections for every settings. Like for connectivity, you can see we have a different section. Under personalize, we have options like customization, display, sound, battery, apps and notification. Then we have security column and after that at last we have a column of others which includes settings like storage settings and few oneplus stock settings where you get to see this dc dimming feature high brightness mode and you can also set automatically high brightness mode along with that we get option to customize the notification slider and vibrator strength but on dot os 5.1 customizations are not limited to stock oneplus customization other than that we have a dedicated column to customize the device where we have tons of options to customize the always on display quick setting panel status bar app lock 
lock faces, fingerprint display animations can be changed, and then few other options to customize buttons, themes, system, and launcher grid. I'm not gonna show you all the settings. If you are interested in this custom room, install it and try out yourself. I'm sure you're gonna like the customization settings available on .OS 5.1. On most of the custom rooms, we don't find features like face unlock. But on this custom room, we have face unlock feature pre-installed. And that works pretty great. I did not find any kind of delays or issues related to not recognizing my face. As you can see here, face unlock is pretty fast on this custom room. And the same thing goes with the fingerprint unlock. Device instantly unlocks as soon as you tap on the fingerprint icon. And as I said, there are lots of fingerprint animations available on this custom room. And which can be just enabled by going inside the customization section. Now let's talk about one of the important aspect of every OS and that's battery backup. I've used my OnePlus 60 as a daily driver running .OS 5.1 and here are few battery cycles of the screen on time and overnight battery drain what I've seen on .OS 5.1 with my regular usage. But guys one thing you need to keep in mind battery backup depends on tons of factors and every individual will have a different screen on time. Though still you can take a look at screen on time which I've got on .OS 5.1. With first cycle, I got 4 hours and 29 minutes of screen on time with my regular usage. With second cycle, I got 5 hours and 1 minute of screen on time again with my normal usage. And the overnight battery drain which I noticed on my device in idle condition was 11% in 8 hours and 30 minutes. And this was with always on display turned on. So if I compare this battery backup and overnight battery drain with the latest version of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 6 series, battery backup seems to be really great on .OS 5.1. And when it comes to performance, device was doing pretty great. For that, make sure to check out our gaming test video. Link of that can be found in the description below. Gaming test is done in 40 FPS and 60 FPS. So guys, that was the quick look on .OS 5.1. Overall, pretty great ROM to be used as daily driver. If you guys want the installation guide of this ROM, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.